guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am 14 DPO according to Fertility Friend. Um, according to Countdown to Pregnancy, I'm in, I was due my period today. So um, what I'm going to do today is run through my symptoms and you're probably going to see me kind of looking up into the distance. It's just because I wrote them out there. Um, so I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can um, because... The first couple of days is not very much, but after from eight days past IUI, that's when it starts getting to a lot of things. Um, so I feel I have so many symptoms for somebody who's only 15 days past IUI. Um, so we just will go straight into it. So for one and two days past IUI, all I really had was a tiny little bit of bloating and some headaches. Um, so on three days past IUI, I had a headache, and I also noticed that my boot, my nipples were starting to get a little bit sensitive. Um, so for four, five, and six days past IUI, um, I started to notice I had cramping, and it was on the right side. So if you have been following my journey, you will know that my follicle was on the right. Um, so from four to six, there was definitely lots of cramping on my right side, on and off throughout the day. Um, again, my, nipp my nipples were sensitive, I had bloating, and the bloating started to intensify a little bit, it got a little bit more. Um, it's, that's when I started to feel really tired, like I needed to take naps throughout the day. Um, and then on 6 DPO, or days past IUI, that's when my boobs went from the sensitive nipples to the tender breast, like tender to touch. Um, seven days past IUI, um, I had tender breasts, um, I was tired, and I also had a slight little bit of constipation. So eight, nine, and ten days past IUI, um, that's when I had a lot of things happen those couple of days. Um, I had a, my skin started to break out, I started to get a little bit more spots or acne. Um, I had light cramps, but the cramps were down, I suppose, in my pelvic region. It wasn't on my right anymore, it was in the center. Um, I was extremely tired. Um, I'd come home from work, and I only work half days. I'd come home from work and I'd have to take a nap, or I'd feel like I need to take a nap. Um, my boobs were extremely sore, like really, really sore. Um, bloating was majorly intensified. Sorry, just like a little fly. Um, majorly intensified. Um, it hurts when I sat down because my stomach was just sticking out so much. Um, what also was happening is in the morning, I would feel nauseous when I woke up. And I think it was just because I was hungry. Um, like straight away I'd want to eat something which is unusual for me because usually I could go about an hour and hour and a half before I have to eat something but um, I really had to eat something straight away when I got up in the mornings. Um, I also had a very dry mouth which made me very thirsty and um, I was going to the toilet a bit more frequently but again I was intaking more fluid so that could have been why I was going to the toilet. So 11 DPO is the day where I think that if implanted. Um, 11 DPO, I noticed I had veiny boobs, which like my veins were way more visible on my boobs. They again were tender to the touch. Um, where am I? Oh yeah. So in the evening around six, I noticed that my stomach was so uncomfortable. Like just sitting in a chair normally, I couldn't do it. If I stretched out, I couldn't do it. No matter what, there was like extreme discomfort in my pelvic uterus region. Um, no matter which way I lay, what, if I lay down straight, if I like crunched into a ball, if I set up, um, the, it wouldn't go away. It just felt full. It felt like achy. Um, it just would not stop aching. Um, that went on till about 11. Um, I also started to feel nauseous in the evening, um, well, well at night, um, around 12 at night um, I was lying in bed and Robert had been out with a couple of our friends um, so he came home and he was talking to me and I was like oh god you need to stop talking I'm going to get sick I need to go to sleep as quick as I can to get sick I was extremely tired as well I went to bed at 10 
um, but then I couldn't sleep when I got there because my stomach was so uncomfortable um, so and again I had severe bloating um, so 12 DPO um, why I think it happened on 11 is because in 12 DPO when I was checking my cervical mucus on my cervix position and um, there was brand spotting there um, so that's why I think it happened the day before, the night before. Um, so I had brown spreading in 12 days past IUI. I had some bloating, sore and tender boobs. And um, I found it really hard to sleep. I was flipping and flopping all over the place. And I noticed that that night I was having some dreams that I couldn't remember. But I remember just like flipping. Like I kept waking myself up to flip over and stuff. Um, and then I was extremely gassy as well um, on 12 days past IUI. Um, so 13 days past IUI, I had indigestion when I ate my lunch. It was really bad. It was just right between my ribs, like under my boobs, indigestion. Again, um, I was really tired. Um, I had dry mouth, which made me more tersy. Um, my boobs started to be less tender, but my nipples started to be sensitive. Again, they were still veiny. Um, I was moody. I was snapping at people, even in work where I'd never snap at people. Um, I was a little bit more snappy than usual. Um, I was gassy. In the morning, I had a shower and I was extremely lightheaded. Um, then again, I had what I wrote down was pelvic discomfort, but again, it's like an achy feeling in my pelvis. It's kind of like you work out and then your muscles are sore. Like that's what it feels like in my pelvic area um, so 14 days past IUI again I had some light bloating I was gassy my nipples were sensitive and um, my breasts this is yesterday my breasts feel really heavy um, I had a horrible metallic -y taste in my mouth which I still have today and again pelvic discomfort and um, so that achy fullness feeling in my uterus so today um, I have very light bloating, a light headache, a light achiness in my um, uterus and then my son, um, again this morning in the shower I felt really light headed um, and then my nipples are a little bit sensitive. So my symptoms today are a lot less than the last let's say te five, six days um, so it's a lot less. Um, so that is really it. That is an awful lot of symptoms, I think, um, for somebody who is newly pregnant. Um, now let me know, guys, if um, you had symptoms like this. If it sounds a little bit too much, or I, am I imagining these things? Um, let me know if you are pregnant or have been pregnant. Um, what... Um, symptoms you had I know a lot of people don't have any which is why I'm kind of like and when you read stuff as well um like online or from books and stuff they say many people won't know they're pregnant until about six weeks they don't really have any symptoms you know and then I'm like geez I have so many symptoms is this all because for the past two and a half years I've been so in tune with my body that I know what's happening um but let me know um what is happening so I will be back um, probably on Friday with another video um, so I'm going to enclose some pictures hopefully because sometimes I just don't upload to my car upload to my um, computer properly of the progression on the tests um, so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you like it give it a big old thumbs up and I will be back with you soon bye